become uh, political here. My point is to make a very, very factual claim, and that is as follows. When you look at the history of Islam in India, by and large, the extreme Hindus, the Hindutva, the RSS, the BJP, they present Islam as something that is foreign, as colonizers, as people who came and took away our culture, right? And this is something that we need to be very clear about. The Muslims who came to Hind and Sindh, they might have come from outside, agreed. And we can understand why some people would find that problematic. But they are not colonizers the way the British were. This is factually incorrect. Every time the Muslims came, they became Indian. And they ruled India as if it was their land. And they took on the culture and the customs and they gave back to the culture and the customs. They were not external, aloof colonizers like the British were. The British didn't learn one word of Hindi. The British lived separate from the masses. The British imposed their language on us. The British looted everything, even the word loot, they looted it as well. And they took it with them. The British came when India was the most powerful economic force in the globe. And when they left it, it was a withering, symptomatic third world country. The British Empire would not be the British Empire had they not taken much of their wealth from the Far East, especially from India. You cannot accuse these Muslim dynasties of anything of that because they took for their own peoples, which was the Indians. And Hindu and Muslim both benefited. It is factual to say India would not be in the India that it is today had it not been for the Muslims of India, the culture, the cuisines, the language, everything, the architecture. Biryani came from the Mughals. You wouldn't even, and I'm not joking, it did. You wouldn't even have biryani if the Mughals were not there. Can you imagine in India without biryani? Even will allow vegetable biryani, even though it's bid'ah in my opinion, but still, <laughs> will allow vegetable biryani, okay? That was a joke, by the way. But anyway, even though, anyways, anyway, okay. My point is, this notion of this, this racist notion of a pure Hindustan, right? Without the Muslims, we would be like this. This needs to be corrected. I understand some fanatical, yani, you know, people of one faith are going to be angry. Why did that faith get involved? I understand. But to claim that Muslims were colonizers, that's simply wrong. To claim that Muslims ruled as a different category, different class, that is factually incorrect. And the India of today would not be the India of today had it not been because of Islam. Islam helped shape the Indian culture. And if the Muslims had not come to India, the India of today would be unrecognizable. We would not recognize what it is. 